Nice to meet you. How are we doing? I know, I thought I wasn't coming as well, but we were, we were knocking heads last night at 2 in the morning, literally. It was about 120 degrees and then down on the docks. And uh, young David couldn't make it, he's got to take the choice to make it. But it was like, yeah, four o'clock this morning, so we had about an hour's sleep. So there you go. How are we all? Good. Cool. Oh, you actually died. I died. Yeah, he got me. I got terrible heart about that. I mean, the thing was, the terrifying thing was that we got the scripts, they were shot as they were given us as standalone episodes. So there was a very nervous phone call to John Stevens, our showrunner today, and he said, well, hang on a minute, you just killed our friend of Pennyworth. So I was a little nervous about that. This is, you know, strange things happen in Gotham. Stranger things happen. But here I am. All is good. Yeah, thank God for that. Yeah, yeah. thank God for that. <laughs> well, you know, it'll be interesting to see if it changes it. Yeah. It's pretty good to How was it for you as an actor to really dive in deep to such a visceral, you know, chunk of material? Because it, it really showed the depths of how far Alfred could go. It was, it was, it was, it was uh, uh, Good question. It was a very big call, actually, initially, because when you read it, you think, would someone really do that? Um, and it begs so many questions, doesn't it? it begs, what, what, is the, what is this insane loyalty that he has to this boy? What is this insane loyalty to this Bushido like oath that he has with Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne? So what, why, would he, why would he do this? Um, and it's that propensity, I think the thing is he's never been able to love. And I think that what we discovered, I think, is to, I just found out what's going on in this season. And my head showrunner is very excited that you find out that there is uh, a lot of love in the world that is uh, loving him. Um, and to, to be given the, the, the chance and the propensity to be able to love um, means that much to him that he would give his love. Which I think is rather beautiful. And I, I have to say, I was, I, I don't blame my trumpet, but. David and Susan, which I was not here. I thought it was that's an only way to do things because what you didn't see was cut short because they concentrated two shows in time. Was that they were going to do a sort of montage sequence of our whole entire relationship over the, over the last three years. And what it meant, what Alfred actually does mean to him as he punches his sword through him. After, after he does it, and he has this sort of flashback that does, does actually bring him back. And then um, uh, I found it. Was extraordinary being sort of three inches away from the young man's face and going through that and we did it in 16 takes and it was just incredible so it was a, it was actually very emotional and very moving and um, and I, I thought it was sort of believable that he would he would give himself for that love for that boy to bring him down and I think the thing is when we, uh, we start season four it's six months later um, and they are on the vigilante path, which is interesting. So he starts to hit the stride which people were expecting us to be on day one, which is the same. The Alfred Bruce relationship, which you know, people were horrified originally about the relationship. But now you start to see a uh, relationship that put flowers into the one where they've got to stitch each other up and they've got each other's feet. And they start to work. But of course, with any relationship, you need to fall apart to get stronger. So that also happens, but I'm not going to tell you anything else because I'm going to kill you. <laughs> How many more fights are you potentially doing? I, 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 I hope a lot. I love doing it. My wife isn't too keen. I broke two ribs. I stabbed myself in the eye. I knocked a finger down. I actually, I chipped a finger down. Uh, no, but I love doing it. I mean, the, the big one is when I have I pulled this guy called Cupcake. It was actually corrected me on Twitter the other day. I called it. I was exaggerating. I was sort of exaggerating. I said he's 270 pounds. I said he's 370 pounds. I actually said I'm 270 pounds. And uh, but his stuntman was 280 pounds. So I had to fight and fall down. And, uh, and it was like I was wearing a brown job because I was like literally black and blue right over there. But uh, my wife gets nice, but I love it. They all do. David loves it. You know, Cameron loves it. It's, it's a great thing about our show because we have this twice now I've nominated uh, staff coordinators. Uh, they, they know our, our, our strengths, they pay to our strengths. We, we have very little time for rehearsals, but it always looks very real and, and, and vicious. And that's what fights are. They're not these choreographed, beautiful things. They're um, really nasty, dirty things, and we get the chance to do it. And I know it's a great thing. It's also being Alfred uh, 
being singing at the time when he was still physical. You know, people realise now that he was there to protect them. A lot of people my age and older grew up with the very demure, proper British butler Alfred Pennyworth. So. Maybe that's what happens after the Lazarus. It's got to be the, the kick ass Alfred. Yeah, it's, 